the Trailblazer League. You know how it is. Area restrictions, superpowers, crazy XP, and I'm going for an Inferno Cave. So let's go. Welcome and welcome back, League's Day 4 camel right there in my face. <laughs> in the last episode, I managed to unlock Ruby Bolts E, and then that basically turned every boss in the game into a big old joke. <laughs> All of them getting just absolutely deleted by the special effects on those bolts. Now, you may be wondering, why am I standing here? And it's because last night I decided to clean up my bank a little bit. I've now got 810k cash. And I've also got 74 fletching. With the boost, that means I can make dragon bolts now. And Vorkath did drop me some dragon bolts. So I want to make those and just add to this huge bolt collection. Aside from that, I've got kind of a laundry list of things I want to do today, which I'm hoping will push me towards the next area and the next relic. So let's go. That is going to be all of the dragon bolts, aside from the onyx ones. And I really want to give these a shot, but you, as you can see in the chat, it's going to take me 87 magic. So I want to come over here and do some splashing. I don't know how much XP this is going to be, but I imagine it's going to be kind of a lot. And I'm not entirely sure if I can do some other spells while I'm splashing here, so I'm going to try. Well, yeah, okay. I can't, like... I guess I can't like wind wave alk and curse or whatever, but I'm gonna do this for a little while. I just see how high I can get my magic level up. A few moments later. Ow, I forgot how click intensive it is to splash an alk at the same time. Golly, my hand hurts. I think I'm gonna have to do something else for magic training because like as much as I want to use up all of these soul runes, all these death runes and things like this is too much clicking even for 1.5 mil an hour, which that'll still take me like two or three hours to get to 87. So yeah, I'm gonna come back to this. Next thing I wanna try is some clues. I've actually built up quite a few while just woodcutting during my edits and the medium clues are the most exciting to me. If I can get ranger boots right now, I haven't really been rocking any boots in my setup, but I figure I'll just go through and see how hard it is to do all of these. Maybe knock out some tasks, get us a little bit closer to that relic in the next area, but gear upgrades, your upgrades would be good. Drop the only hard clue because it's emotes. Ah, pain the butt. Here we go, the final clue. Took a little bit longer than I was expecting, and also I had to drop quite a few because they were either too annoying to do or I couldn't get the items for like the emote clues. But still a pretty sizable stack of caskets. Let me get to a bank and then I'm gonna open these up. Here we go. Now, if I remember right, the clue relic actually gives a chance to get even more caskets when you open a casket. <laughs> so I think it's gonna be even more than what I've already got here. Now, these lower level ones, I'm not really looking for anything. So I think I'm just gonna spam click them and see how it goes. Starting with 86 tasks until the next area and 1,340 points to the next relic. Here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> Five mole slippers in the stack. <laughs> I actually kind of want to save some of that stuff. Hold on. Next up is the easy clues. Oh my God, there's so much junk, dude. There's so much junk. Quick change of attire. Figured I might try to be a little bit of a baller when I open up the medium caskets. I'm going to go through these slowly. This is where I'm trying, I'm praying for ranger boots. Six caskets is not a lot, so I'm not really expecting it, but please, you could make it easy on me. That would be great. Uh, no, no, still got three more, please. Got another leprechaun hat, are you kidding? Oh, a master? <laughs> I mean, there's like no way, right? I guess it's locked to the area that I'm in, but if I get an emo clue, that would suck. No rangers, that's a little bit sad. How about the elite? We gonna get anything good? 
Well, another master clue. Otherwise, not a single unique, really? Wow. Oh, I should I even try to do the masters? I guess I can. I shouldn't get the steps that have like skill requirements because I don't have Kandarin, so maybe I'll give it a shot. Hmm. The next step is down in this dungeon, and I don't really want to do this quest right now, so I think I'm gonna hold off, but I'm gonna keep it because I definitely can come back and do this. I'm not really gonna do any more clues today, so I'm gonna head to a bank, take a tally, see how we did on points. All right, moment of truth. How many points did I get? <laughs> There's like a thousand points just from opening clues. I think I got like 20 tasks or 25 tasks as well. Holy cow, dude. Well, I kind of think I just am going to go get the next relic. I hadn't really planned to do it this early in the day, but shoot, I'm already so close. I might as well. Defeating a ruined dragon, 80 points. Oh my gosh, there was a task. First level 90 unexpected i was just coming here to finish my slayer task so i could go and get another one so i kind of forgot i don't actually have a lot of points i'm gonna go ahead and unlock hot stuff because i really want to get a jad task hmm? you, what does that mean you can't even get it to czar task or you already can um well i guess never mind on that i'm not gonna worry about the slayer task then there it is fire cape number two man i was just uh, a little bit silly last night i really should have worn this thing before i burned it because it is apparently a 200 point task <laughs> there we go that is the next tier relic unlocked now i've been thinking about this one quite a bit equilibrium gives you just xp in the lowest skill whenever you get xp anywhere farmer's fortune does what it sounds like it's gonna make farming all of your plants will spawn instantly and then you have the ruinous powers now the thing that i like about the ruinous powers is i don't have to go to karen to get a strong range prayer and i already locked in fremnik so unless i want to drop asgarnia which i really don't want to do i think ruinous powers is the play totally op prayer book I don't know. It sounds like the way to go for me. I want to do it. I'm going to try it. I'm locking it in. There it is. Ruinous powers. Let's just take a look at them. Now, my prayer is stupid low, so I'm going to have to train it. But you get protection prayers still, even though you do take a little bit more damage if you're praying the wrong style. So this is going to make things like God Wars a little bit more challenging because you're getting attacked by all three styles. But I think for a lot of places, I'll still be able to take advantage of this. And of course, the other thing is going to be the ranged prayer here. 25% ranged attack, 27% ranged strength. We're going to hit hard, but I've got to get my prayer up in order to do that. So for now, normal prayer book it is, but I definitely want to train up and get access to these as soon as I can. Actually, something came up, so I'm going to see if I can AFK some Ancients and train my magic up a little bit. Good thing I kept some Zeal tokens. I need 50 attacks so I can wear the staff, so I want to see if I can just get it. Oh, that was it. 50. Wow. Okay, that was perfect. Sweet. I'm going to head off to the desert, see if I can't find a world to AFK on with some Ancients, and I guess I will train my prayer tomorrow. Welcome back. Day 5. I ended up having to come out here because bandits were just so crowded, but the XP out here was still pretty decent. Managed to get 80 magic, so considerable improvement. I think that was 12 levels. Not quite to 87, but we'll get there. Now, unfortunately, I am a bit of a broke boy right now, and you know the best way for me to solve my money problems. Okay, KC number 50. Did not get lucky on the head, but there it is. Now I can upgrade my backpack for more damage. And all of my cash problems are about to be solved, I think. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff. There we go. 1.6 mil in cash, dude. I know all you fire sailors out there are laughing at me, but this is like a huge amount of coins for me. All right. I've also got a couple of things in the inventory because we're going to knock out a few tasks rather quickly. First one is making the Dragonstone Amulet. I'm going to go ahead and enchant that. Now we've got a glory as well. Ended up having to get more nature ruins and ended up getting a ruin axe. So there is chopping a log with a ruin axe. And then wearing the dragon plate leg should be a task too. Sweet. Plus, we upgraded the backpack to the Ava's Assembler. And actually, I don't think I put this on yet. That should be a task. Yeah, look at that. 80 more points, and this is our first piece of endgame gear. Look at that. It actually gives range strength. Isn't that nice? Okay, 
now that I have got all of this cash, it is time for me to refocus on training my prayer. I've got a bunch of bones from Vorkath, but I don't want to just bury them. So I want to try and get up to a gilded altar. It really shouldn't take too long. I know I'm level one construction now, but the XP is so fast. I just have to get 1.2 mil XP. So let's do it. Starting off with a daddy's home quest for 28 construction, just like that. All right, let's get the rest of the levels now. There we go, 72 construction. I am so glad I did the math right. I was getting kind of nervous at the start of that grind, but pretty much spot on. And you may be wondering, why 72? Didn't you say 75? Well, I found out that I can build this thing, get a gold cup, magically have a sink that wasn't here two seconds ago, magically have a stove and all of the things that were in my inventory before just there, put the kettle on the range, Use the hot kettle on the teapot. Use the pot of tea on the cup. <laughs> this, this is ridiculous, okay? You don't know how many times I've had to cut away to do stuff, but it's finally here. And then drink the cup of tea because it's gonna give me a plus three boost so I can finally build this stupid freaking altar. And there it is, a gilded altar. God, it's that easy. It... <laughs> oh man, that is terrible. Oh. I guess I need to build some burners too. Give me a, give me one second. Dear Lord. Where was I? Oh yeah, I can't forget about the incense burners. I totally didn't just have to go mine ore to like... I only needed to build it once. What? <laughs> There's the gilded altar. Oh my God. Okay, well, let's... At least I get to use bones now, okay? At least that happened. <laughs> Oh, finally time to get some prayer XP. I don't know how far all of the bones that I had in my bank are actually gonna get me, but I figure I might as well go through them, see what I'm working with. Oh, look at the XP drops, man. This is gonna be so quick, I think. Why do these bones take 70 freaking prayer to use? Are you kidding me? I need to get why <laughs> I can't take the self trolling anymore. Are you joking? Oh my I'm I'm about to lose my mind, man. I am about to lose my mind. Please tell me I can get enough prayer XP from the Soul Wars points I have left to hit 70. I, there's like no way though. I'm so far away. Not even close. Not even close. Oh my god. I'm dealing with this tomorrow, man. Good night. See you then. God, screw this. God, screw this.